What's up, everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. From time to time, I'd like to check in and just say hi and let you know what's going on with me personally and what I'm carrying gear wise and what's sort of grace in my pocket. Um, I have the very distinct privilege and honor of being able to play with pretty much every phone uh, out there on the market. You guys obviously know I love phones. Um, so I get a chance to try almost everything that comes across my plate. Uh, I've been primarily an iPhone user since 2007. Uh, before that, I used Blackberries. I had a couple, uh, and then before that, just you know, regular Nokia flip phones. Uh, and intermittently, I've used Android uh, for a little while. I had a brief fling uh, with Blackberry with the 9900. Uh, and then ultimately, I went back to the iPhone with the iPhone 4S. Uh, and I, I still think that the iPhone and iOS is a very elegant, really easy to use and understandable uh, operating system. I think for a lot of people, it's the best choice out there. Uh, but for me, it's still become very boring. Uh, and I think that probably has to do with some of the hardware stuff as well. The iPhone 4S is exactly the same as the iPhone 4 uh, before that. So yeah, there's a little bit of speed improvements and better camera. Uh, there's been some software improvements, obviously, with iOS 5. Uh, I ranted a little bit about the previous notification systems in iOS 4 and earlier, and that's been fixed, and there are some sort of cool things uh, that iOS 5 has, but for the most part, I just become very bored with it. The screen size uh, has become a little bit too small for me. Um, seeing all these larger phones, a little bit bigger screens, uh, something that I found that I was missing. Um, so when I got the HTC Titan into review, I've always, actually, if you guys check out the videos from way back, I've always been a big fan of Windows Phone, but I never really could use it as my daily driver. Uh, it was missing a few things that I really needed previous to Mango. Uh, the first thing that I really needed was a unified inbox. You know, to have one inbox for all my email um, was really important um, for me to have. And then some sort of multitasking was just too hard to navigate an operating system without any multitasking. It's, you know, I am probably like you, do a lot on my phone. So in the Titan came in with its monster 4.65 inch Gretzel Lucy, by the way, a French bulldog puppy. Um, I was really excited to give it a try. And the more I used it, the more I liked it, uh, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this up. And this is not very technical. I'm not pushing the camera down. I just want to show you um, Windows Phone 7. So it's got a pretty low resolution, 480 by 800. Uh, a lot of people get really caught up on specs, and I'm probably one of them. You know, whether or not it's dual core, 1.2 or 1.4, if it's the Exynos chipset, or whether or not it's Qualcomm, if it only has 512 gigabyte of RAM or a gig of RAM. Um, for a lot of phones, that matters. And I think Android in particular, uh, specs really influence the user experience. Um, because you can do a lot of customization uh, with Android. So you look at something that's maybe a bit more processor and RAM intensive, like TouchWiz, uh, on Android, you're gonna want a phone with better specs, get that better user experience. Uh, you look at something like Android that's really vertically controlled, so Apple controls the operating system, the hardware, you're gonna get a user experience that's tailored you know, just for that particular device, but you're not gonna get any choice with device or customization, because that's very much controlled in the walled garden. Uh, Microsoft has taken kind of that approach. Uh, and so because this is a little bit of a lower resolution screen at 480 by 800, things just look big. Um, I took a bit of a tangent there. I was talking about the resolution. Uh, I like the lower resolution screen. Uh, you can see the same amount of tiles here you can on pretty much every other Windows phone device out there, but they're gigantic, uh, which is awesome. My eyesight from staring at monitors or phones, whatever, is getting worse and worse. Oftentimes when I'm not filming, I'm sitting here like this. And I feel like my dad or my grandma or someone old looking at stuff. I'm like, I gotta hold it out here, like squinting to see it. Um, all right, I'm taking this off so I don't feel old. I'm also getting gray hairs. I don't know if you can see them on the side. Over there, over here, that's the angle. It kind of sucks. Not so good, um, but I'm getting old and I'm also digressing. Uh, so I love the lower resolution giant screen here on the Titan. I also really am liking the whole Windows phone experience. My biggest concern, uh, in thinking about switching to Windows Phone 7 was apps. Uh, most of the apps I use actually are in the Windows Phone marketplace, uh, or if they're not, have an equivalent. So there's ones that I use all the time. Obviously, Facebook uh, has a really good uh, app for Windows Phone. 
Um, Netflix is here. Kindle is here. There's a visual voicemail application I haven't tried yet called Magic Mail. Um, that was one thing I thought Windows Phone was missing was a visual voicemail option. So hopefully that application uh, will work. So I've got Netflix, Pocket Recorder. You can see some of them here. I don't know if the camera angle is reflecting it or not. Um, YouTube, WhatsApp, uh, I use quite a bit for text messaging, and that's here. Um, Twitter, you know, obviously you can see my live tiles that I got going on. Um, I do, there's a, it's funny, there's a dedicated Google search application because the search built in here is Bing. I don't really like Bing all that much, so being able to have dedicated Google panel on here uh, is quite nice. The live tiles are really handy, and not all applications take advantage of them yet. Uh, WhatsApp, which the only work on Mango, does take advantage. You get a counter there that'll show you how many messages uh, that you have. Uh, I do love the People Hub as well, which is something that I didn't think I was really going to use. So, for example, like my wife, um, I can go right into her tile. I can look at it, I can see her posts, I can flick through it, I can reply to things right here, I can send pictures right from Twitter. Um, Google Analytics application is really nice. Uh, the camera on the Titans, kind of blah. Battery life hasn't been as great as I initially thought that it was. Uh, using it on a daily basis, I'm sort of putting it through the grinds that I do. Generally, I'm at like 12% by the time I go to bed at night. Um, so it's lasting, you know, for a full day. I'm really liking the keyboard. There is voice in here that you can search for. It works okay. It's sort of average. Um, but I'm really enjoying the user experience. The live tiles here are great. And actually, everyone that I've shown this to I said, oh, you know, I could actually really use Windows Phone. I think the biggest thing that it's got going against it um, is that right there. It actually has Windows in the title. Um, people have preconceived notions about Windows. I know I did. It was sort of a random rant video. Uh, but I know I did. Um, about using a Windows device. And I was concerned that I wasn't going to be able to get any of my media on there. Uh, I use Macs. I haven't had a PC uh, laptop or desktop in a while, so all my information is stored in iTunes. That's one of the reasons that iOS worked so well for me. Everything sort of sunk together. Um, but there are Windows Phone applications for Mac and PC, obviously, that you can sync all your pictures on. You can sync all your music together. Um, there's something called SkyDrive, which is sort of a cloud storage that Microsoft has. It'll sync all your pictures and store them to the, the SkyDrive, essentially store them to the cloud. So I haven't really found that I'm missing anything. Um, on the HTC Titan in particular, HTC put something in here called HTC Watch, uh, which is what you download movies and stuff right on here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up um, so you can see it. They have it on some of their Android devices. Um, so I haven't really missed you know, all that much with it. Uh, I think that the power and lock button here is incredibly reset. It's a pain in the butt um, to hit. But for the most part, I really like this. I don't have any intention of going back to iOS, at least as long as the hardware is what it is. Um, as long as the iPhone 4S is the newest um, phone out there, I've been really happy with Windows Phone. Um, I've tried, obviously, the Galaxy Nexus, um, and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, but for me, Windows Phone has been really good. So if you're looking to get a phone, um, you can see the video store here, a lot of stuff. Um, try it. Just pick it up in the store and give it a shot. I think a lot of people gloss over it, whether or not they're looking for the new Android device, or they're not looking for an Apple device, or even some of you might be looking for a BlackBerry. Uh, people don't look at Windows Phone very often, and I just really like it. I'm not, Microsoft has no influence on me or the content. I just, I'm really enjoying using the phone, and I love the giant screen, uh, though it's a pretty thin device, um, despite how big it is. It's been great. The browser is really solid. No flash support is kind of annoying, um, but you know I'm used to that, obviously. But things just work well on it, and the applications are really coming along. So give it a shot. Try it. I think you guys might actually like Windows Phone 7. Uh, I definitely do, and I have no intention of switching. And I get a lot of question marks and people send me uh, email responses. I still have sent from Windows Phone as my signature. I haven't changed it. Uh, I get a lot of WTFs uh, <laughs> responses, but I really like it. So I'm a walking contradiction. I'm a Mac guy using a Windows Phone. I like what I like. What do you guys think? Have you tried Windows Phone? Do you like it, not like it? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Hopefully you sat around and watched this video. No special effects going on. Uh, it was just sort of a fun way to talk to you guys. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.